Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me in Saudi Arabia for the most insane modern supercar and hypercar auction that I think has ever taken place in the entire world. This is the Silverstone Auctions event as part of Riyadh season here at the Riyadh Car Show and just take a look at some of the cars behind me that are about to be going under the hammer. We are talking the likes of the Veyron Supersport World Record Edition. We have a LaFerrari as well as a P1 and 918. We have some crazy cars like the Gumpert Apollo S, a Gembala Mirage GT, the Pagani Zonda Riviera. This is going to be fascinating, but there are also some cars of interest to me. Now I've been taking a look through the catalogue to go through the various cars. Let's have a quick look though at some of the cars that will be hitting the block today and then let's see how all of this is going to unfold. The calibre of the cars that are on display at this event is quite frankly extraordinary. We've got the full lineup on the lawn over this way of the cars going through the auction, and then to this side, the cars that are on show. Now you'll spot right behind me, we have all six of the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse Legend Editions. So we've got the Jean-Pierre Vimeo, the Mio Costantini, the Black Bess has now arrived, then we've got the Ettore Bugatti, the Rembrandt Bugatti, and the Jean Bugatti, supporting the lineup inside that dome behind the Enzo, there's now an SLR Sterling Moss as well. Plenty of epic, epic cars. But coming this way then, towards the cars that are on auction. And the one thing that's particularly interesting about the Silverstone auction being run today is that it's the first time that cars over five years old can be imported here into Saudi Arabia. That is why you can see the likes of the split window Corvette, a Ferrari 550, there's a 288 GTO, there's a 300 SL as well, the Dino, and plenty more sitting in and amongst the Veyron, the Huayra, the P1, the Reventon. There are so many epic cars to see in this one space. Now you might be able to take a good guess as to what is of my interest and what well, maybe later, depending on the pricing, I might hold up a paddle for. Well, there are two Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Black Series, the red one just there and the solar beam yellow one right over here, sitting in and amongst all of these other cars. These things are so epically cool, as many of you who follow the channel regularly will know. But they are surrounded well, by all of these, let's talk about what we're looking at. The Gembala Mirage GT. Only 25 units converted by Gembala from the Porsche Carrera GT. This one in the grey with those bright green accents. Then right behind it, we have the McLaren P1, one of two P1s. Behind that, we've got a Daytona. We've got a Zagato 599 next to a V12 Vantage. This is unusual. The Ital Design Zero Uno. They're only making five of those as coupes, five roadsters. An unusual car to see going through the auction block next to a Ferrari 288 GTO. Over behind, we've got a Super America. Here we've got a 40th anniversary Lamborghini Murcia Lago. We've got a few 70th anniversary Ferraris, the 488 GTB there. I'm interested to see what happens to this, the Aston Martin Vantage GT8. And then next to it, we've got the Pagani Zonda Riviera, one of the most, I think, extreme cars that's going to be going through the auction block today. Coming back through though, that is by no means the end. The DBS, the Murcielago SV, the SLR Roadster, a very nice 05 Ford GT. We've even got a 2.7 911 72RS epic. Sitting next to a Lamborghini Diablo, a Turbo S. We've got a full exposed carbon McLaren Senna, the inverse colours of my Senna. We've got the blue carbon fibre with the brighter blue accents around it. We've also got here the Chiron Sport 110 en Bugatti. I didn't even know these were being delivered, but the limited edition model to celebrate Bugatti's 110th anniversary. And this, I believe, is going to be the first car to go through the auction block here today. Next to that, a Veyron Grand Sport. I mean, this is just absolute heaven. Let's not miss some of these cars over here. This P1, by the way, is a carbon series, one of only five with the full exposed carbon added with the red accents that you can see around, including, I really like that, the inverted P1 logo down on that blade just behind the front wheels. Lamborghini Reventon, one of only 20 coupes. That's car number six. This is another 70th anniversary F12 Berlinetta. And we've got the Gumpert Apollo S. I did not expect to see a Gumpert Apollo going through the auction next to a Ferrari LaFerrari. Also, just here at the moment, but not actually in today's auction, the new Roof CTR, incredible thing. 
next to an Aston Martin Vanquish Zagato shooting brake. Over this side though, one of the highlights I think, the Bugatti Veyron Supersport World Record Edition. They only made 48 Supersports, five of which were the World Record Edition, the WRE, to pay tribute of course to Bugatti breaking the world speed record with this car and the distinct uh, exposed carbon with the orange accents and the orange wheels. What a lineup though, 722S, the SLR Roadster next to the 300 SL, the beautiful 1950s Gullwing. This is extraordinary. As I said, what an incredible lineup that are all going to be going through the auction hall. And um, we'll go and head in to see what happens and to see if the shopping temptation is there. Let's find out. We are coming inside then, Silverstone Auctions and the Seven Concourse. The cars are going to be driving right across up here and we've actually got some seats right at the very front to go and take all of this in. It is not very often that you see cars like this crossing through an auction. So I'm intrigued to see how frantic the bidding is going to be, what the prices are going to be as the cars go right through here. Well, before it begins, I've just come and signed up. So I'm now registered and that's my number. 150. Is that a sign? Shall we see what this is going to be like? Let's go take a seat now and uh, who knows? The first is car the first is coming car on then, the Bugatti yeah. Chiron Sonsi Son yeah. arrives. Yeah. This is very, very cool. It's going to be when it's spun around on the turntable in front of us. This is where it's going to begin then. So the first the Chiron Sport though. to go through uh, the auction block. Is yeah. to the with the details the that will be on the displays behind the cars spinning around in front. What a cool view it has to be said. Right, thank you sir. Two million nine hundred thousand. Three wow. million, we have three million bits. This is the first uh, car to go through dollars. the car auction Looking here in Saudi Arabia. For you. Uh, Wowzers, 3 million, 3 million, 1, 3 million, 400,000. So wow, 3.4 mil bids. Uh, okay, this is getting quite million. serious. And uh, you know, we're definitely not putting a paddle on that kind of anyway, thing. Else. Um, what are we going to hear? Sold. 3 million, 400,000. Wow. Congratulations. We just had the sale then of the 993 Carrera 4S, Lot 101. But let me quickly show you the cars of interest to me. We'll go past the Challenge Stradale. This is one, 2006 Ford GT. Soft spot for those, of course. Well, Next, a couple of pages further through. Uh, it wasn't going to be the Diablo GT, it's a lovely car as it is, or the P1. But, or the 550, it was going to be one of those. SLS AMG Black Series, no secret about that. Then, going a little bit further, Tell the size zero is cool. Of course, we also have the solar beam yellow one. So the Challenge Stradale has just come off the stage, but let's see what the SLSs do in this auction. And there are so many other cars as well. Multiple Bugattis, the Gumpers. It's quite an impressive auction. Amazing cars that are going to go up for sale today. Thank you very much. 220,000. It is time then for the Ford GT. Is the paddle going to get used? We will find out. Back on the stage. Is the um, I'm quite excited about this. It's coming through GT. the other side. Um, what an iconic car this is. Based the stage. Four, in the original 60s. That's really Ford nice. Fashion spec. Red with the white stripes. These are a very useful. Uh, 200,000. So, opened at 200,000 dollars. That's actually quite high. I think that's a bit of uh, 220,000 dollars, uh, 240, 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 uh
Bad man, how you doing? Oh. Good, how you doing? Are you bidding on anything? Dude, that Ford GT, I should have bid on it. Oh. 260. For 260? Plus, plus premium. Just the impact of the US, but it's pretty sick. What do you think about that sure on? 3.4? Yeah. Well, oh, big money. I wanted to put on the paddle for the first bid. You should have. What are you, what are you going on? Let's go back, let's see what's up. The of course the 918 Spider comes in in E mode. Silent electric driving. No startup noises to hear on that one. 918 Spider sold for 1.3 million dollars. Right, the asking price up top, then you have the current high bidder is written down towards the bottom of the screen. It is McLaren P1 time, volcano yellow. Hello, launch specification. Uh, this started surprisingly uh, cheap at $600,000. I'm sure it's going to end up at uh, a million plus for sure. 50, 50, 1 million dollars now. And a million dollars. I'll take 1 million and 50. Well, we've just had the lot before. The 550 is driving off, which means it is time for lot 110, my beloved SLS AMG Black Series in red. Right, it's going to be very interesting to see next. what the start price of this is going and, to be. Uh, it's going to arrive the into the stage in just a moment. We have to wait for it and come on up. Oh, but not just the SLS AMG, this is the Black oh, Series. This car is so cool. This is the car. Uh, the ultimate right. version, there is no this is going to be the question. Is it going to be or better or higher specification. That's what we're going to have to decide. Uh, Let's see SLS what happens. in the world. I'm but sitting here listening to those 75 years old. Uh, Golden doors bring back. Thinking, thinking, wondering. The, uh, Let's see, see where they decide to start uh, and then a decision will be made from there. And, and uh, this is a rare uh, color combination, by the way. Where are they going to open it? $500,000, please. $500,000, everyone. $500,000. That's steep. I'll go in 20. Sit back. Oh, I've got a bit of 500, 520 already. 520,000. Okay. That's crazy money. $560,000. Wow. That happened very fast. Oh, dear. I guess this panel is not getting away from right now. That's a lot of money. Wow. $580,000. We'll pass that one at 580 and move. Oh, okay. Thank you. Didn't sell. No Lot sale. One, one, one. Well, Didn't be reserved. We have seen some amazing cars here this evening. Interesting. Very interesting. And, uh, Never mind, lads. <laughs> yeah, not this time. More expensive than we thought. Uh, well, yeah, much more than we thought. Moira, sorry, I interrupted you for a Pagani. Moira, sorry. <laughs> We're up to $2,500,000 on the Pagani Quarra. They're waiting for 2.6 to see if they get a bit for 2.6. 2,500,000 has to go on sold. 2,500,000. On sold. They didn't be reserved, unfortunately, on that. Which means it is now time for the yellow SLS AMG Black Series, the Solar Beam Yellow, which under these lights looks <laughs> so nice. This car actually has a bright yellow interior, which is an inherent for many. You can just see that in the picture. Yellow seats. And, uh, but, um, so the big yellow. Yeah. If this opens at like 400,000 plus, to me that's a no go. Let's uh, see where it opens. And, uh, we're on a couple of telephones here. Oh dear, telephone and, uh, calls. Telephone here, bits. What's it going to make? Like one oh, that's so cool. I would have started off at 500,000, 500,000, five. and 520. It's been taken. Here we go. Wow, money of the SLS Black Series then. Okay, well that's me out. That's too much money for me. Crazy, 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 crazy. Should AWW is looking at the front of these or just us? Yeah. Let's go find anyone else where. At 560,000, yeah, no, that is not enough, and we're going to pass at 560,000. Thank you very much, Paul, for your business. Unsold. Indeed. Yeah. We were just figuring this out. $580,000 plus 7% buyer's premium, 20% VAT, plus something like 10% duty, plus shipping and grant to buy it, and should it be the UK. That came to 829000 dollars for £645,000, and it didn't mean to stop. What were those cars for you? 550. Five hundred, 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 five hundred
it says it down there on the very side of the car. Very special indeed. Sorry, and uh, limit has to be one million to start. One million dollars, one million please. One million, 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 one million. Now we will have the Nibio Spider Zagato Ferrari 599. I don't really know where this car is going to be priced in today's auction. And uh, I don't really know. Two million dollars then. Two million. Again, two million is not enough. Two million. Last chance for it. Two million. Two million. Two. And I pass that at two million. Thank you. Ah. We're missing the Carrera GT, the Mirage GT, and the Lexus LV have both been withdrawn. Well, we get a nice view of the Mirage GT anyway. But having been withdrawn last second, it's now all the way, alas. So the Zonda Riviera is currently up. Unfortunately, it hasn't managed to make it to the stage. We don't quite know why. Look at the bids. It's up at 5 million already. It's been bid to 5 million for the Zonda Riviera. Five million two hundred thousand. Five million wow, two. Wow, five wow, million wow. three. Not five million three hundred thousand. Five four. Well, five million four hundred thousand. Five five sir. Oh, five million five hundred thousand. Thank you. Five million five. At the moment, five million five. Okay. Will, okay. Uh, keep it on the three. Will, will, a buying bid here at five million five hundred thousand dollars. And I am selling five million five hundred thousand US dollars. Wow, this is an interesting one for me. This is the F12 Berlinetta 70th anniversary 599 GTO inspiration. At 580, 600,000 now. On a 580, 580 waiting for 600. That's an F12 70th anniversary. I'm, I'm that price. It's huge. It's huge, huge, huge. So no one wants to borrow my pad. That's what I was going to do. The price is right. I'm taking your pad. Yeah, you can get it. I'll tell you what, I trust you. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. If the price is good, uh, pick it up, wave it, fire Bugatti, just like that. This has basically become like a uh, super car. Yeah, this is actually shot. Some of them are really good prices, uh, some of them are just like saying, oh, yeah. Some things, uh, I, I'm, I'm all over the place, I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, Normally I'm quite good for my prices, but uh, I really want to see you guys again. I really want it. Yeah. One day, one day, one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> Maybe today, who knows? Let's see what happens. And opened at 1.2. And we've got 1.3 already. 2.13. Are we going to have 1.4 straight away? Who knows? Past, unfortunately. No buyer of the Veyron. Spinning up there now then. The Carbon Series McLaren P1. But, by the way, I have a new person sat on. We've got this to solve. Dread. I'm good, I'm good. We're going to find this. Not the P1. Five hundred thousand dollars. One million five. It's going to be a three million telephone one million five. Well, it started at one five. It's going to happen very quickly. I think it could be a million seven. One million seven hundred thousand. You've been shot. One million seven hundred thousand. That should kill me. One million seven. Two times. That's a great fair reason. Okay, we're already up to one eight. We're already one up to one eight. One million eight hundred thousand. Coming quickly. Here it is. Thank you for your business. What would you like? I tell you what, 300 SL right now, we're sport by Brabus as well, this car. Brabus is always doing a magnificent job of these kind of restorations. Some Mercedes classics as well as their obviously more modern Mercedes AMG cars that they work on as well. This is a, a special place in my heart after the Millimania driving experience. I'm going to head outside for a moment, but this has been fascinating so far. The cars though, all lined up. I think the Veyron Super Sport is going to be the final car from the auction. But you can see some of the various cars have been moved around while they've been coming in to be shown to us on the stage. This P1 actually looks completely different by the nightlights. The different colours you get out of it, the purples, the blues, the bronzes, the different uh, flip colours over the top of the carbon. You come around here, that's just incredible. Wow, lots of other special things around as well. The Bentley Grand Limousines, the Rift CTR, the lineup of cars at this event is just simply stunning. Of course, we've got the Ital Design Zero Uno out here, which to be honest, in person, really looks really, really, really special. And the Bugattis, and we've got the $3.4 million Chiron, 110 years now. $3.4 million for this. Wowzers, hopefully we'll see the Senna. That's gonna go through much later on, as will the LaFerrari. But uh, yeah, yeah, some exciting, exciting sales. And the, uh, was it $600,000? for the 70th anniversary F12 Berlinetta. Sad that Ford GT and the SLSs aren't to be tonight shopping for me, but in any case, 
How's this? You just want some attention. You're wanting attention? Are you buying a Lamborghini? Join the dark side. Do it, Tim. Do it, do it, do it. If today's video gets 19 likes, you buy a Lambo. 19, 19, 19. likes. We just need 19 heroes. Yes. Thank you. Come on. It's not, it's not that simple. When the time is right and the car is right, you're, is Mr. you're becoming Mr. Lamborghini. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Gallardo, Aventador. Soon to be, wait. I don't want to say too much without saying enough. Well, we'll leave it at that. There might we'll be another Lambo coming to the collection soon. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've got my eyes on things in the future. Yes, That's all I'll does. say as Yes, well. he does. Dude, yes. and when you do, you got to ship it to America and we'll go whip together. Car Maybe. week 2020. Car week 20, wait, That's what my, year is it? That's in like It's 2019, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, like, what year yes. are we in? I'm tired. Um, I was thinking maybe bring the center out next year. Okay, that works too. Yeah, yeah is that all right? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the auction has come to an end, but we've got some price updates to talk about as the Veyron Grand Sport is just casually cruising away. That car, I believe, did 1.3 no sale. The Senna was quite interesting to me. The Senna actually reached 1.5 million, which wasn't enough to meet the reserve, which quite surprises me because that's a lot of money for a McLaren Senna. 1.5 million, that wasn't enough. Somebody bid one and a half though for the full exposed carbon fiber. And I really, really like the spec of this car, seeing it from around the back. So the Chiron 110 sold for uh, 3.4. The other Chiron that was in the auction actually, a green car, but not actually present right now, um, didn't sell at 2.4, I think. The Mirage GT is just coming through. Really cool to be here as all, all of the cars are now parked back up to look good on the lawn. Of course, the P1 sold for 1.05, 1.050,000. 1, the Gunpowder Apollo didn't sell at 440K. The GT8, I don't actually know about. I don't think it's sold, uh, but I don't know what the numbers were specifically. I can't believe 580 was the number uh, on the screen for the uh, 17th anniversary F12. Walking around though, La Ferrari sold. La Ferrari sold for a $2 million um, price at the end of the day. I will listen to that though. What a sound. What a truly spectacular sound just listening to it. Um, the Reventon, I'm not quite sure where exactly right now the Reventon actually are, ah, over there, it's hiding, um, was 940,000, no sell at the end. Um, but just walking through, carbon P1, no sell at 1.8, but the Zonda Riviera, I suppose the car of the evening to talk about in this respect, five and a half, five and a half million dollars. The Zonda 760 hammer price. So a good six million plus some taxes. If it was, and it's, I don't think it is, but if it was heading to the UK, for example, by the time you've imported that, you're talking, well, somewhere, what? North of $7 million all in? Yes, exactly. I think about seven and a half million dollars or so if that was coming to the UK. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The LaFerrari is just tucked in over here. The Veyron Supersport WRE, that's an interesting one. That was 1.9 million US. 1.9, so some serious, interesting prices for me. I mean, two million dollars for the LaFerrari is a good, good deal. And it's actually a very lucky friend who has acquired this car. So we might be fortunate enough, fingers crossed, to see it again in the future. This car uh, and also the McLaren P1. Behind it, we've got the Hoyer at the back. Somebody got an amazing uh, deal, I think, on that. I think it sold, WRE sold at 1.9. But um, yeah, some cars that went really high, but were no sells. Anyway, that is the most insane auction ever to see all of these cars the likes of the TDF, for example, I think that was 850K hammer price. Remember all hammer prices plus all the other fees. But the color of this under the lights right now, this is super, super, super cool. Looks really, really, really nice under this light. 70th anniversary 488. Yeah, plenty of cars that have now been through the auction blocks here at uh, the Riyadh season, Riyadh car show. I'm just trying to get my head around it all as we're surrounded by cars shuffling around, moving around. Look at this, three Bugattis flanked by the Senna and the P1. The lineup at this place is just mind-bending. Great day though, amazing to see the cars going through the auction, amazing to see the, I guess, total value of all of these cars that they've achieved at, uh, at the bidding. But yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. Another very long day, an enjoyable day here that's an amazing show. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Sadly, it wasn't to be anything for me this time around with the SLS Black Series. Maybe one of those in the future. That is a car I would really love to add to my collection. For today, though, thank you very much for watching, as always, guys, and I will see you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>